In this video, you'll learn how to easily push your code to your GitHub repository, manage your files and folders, and keep your designs and code in sync across your entire development lifecycle without GitHub integration. Click on the blue export button, then click push to GitHub. You can simply connect to GitHub by clicking the purple button here. This will take you to your GitHub page and you can select which GitHub account you would like to connect to. You can now choose which repositories you would like to give Locofy access to, all or only selected ones. Once you install and authorize, now your GitHub account is connected. Down here, you can now either create a new repository or choose from a list of existing ones. In this case, let's create a new repository and call it Fickle Flight. Alternatively, you can also connect to GitHub by using a token. You can do this by clicking on the GitHub token link that is below the purple button. This leads you directly to your GitHub settings, where you can create a new token. Make sure to write a note for your token so you remember what it is for. After that, select the checkbox saying Repo. Next, click on Generate Token and then copy the token from the green box. Now go back to the Locofy Builder and paste the token. Click on Connect Account and proceed. If you ever want to change the access Locofy has to your GitHub account, you can just click on Configure Access. Then select Configure and modify the settings, such as changing it from all repositories to only selected ones or even revoking access for Locofy altogether. Once you have connected to your GitHub account, simply click Confirm and you will be taken to the file manager where you can now configure your file structure. Go ahead and rename or delete files. You can also create new folders and move your files and folders around according to your desired structure. Once you're ready, you can do a final review of your files and push to GitHub. Now you can continue to develop iteratively with our smart conflict resolution. Continue to work in parallel to make changes in your code base and design at the same time. In this simple example, we are changing the color of the button in our code base to red. Then in the Figma file, we'll change the color of the button to blue. On your next push, Locofy then helps you to merge the changes and raise any conflicts that require your attention. You can simply resolve this by choosing the change that you want to accept. Once you've resolved the conflicts, the code is now merged and you can push to your GitHub repository. This workflow can also be applied for more complex use cases, such as extending your code with API calls to your database, custom logic and more.